All right, we're watching shares of NVIDIA this morning. A Reuters report says that Huawei is planning to begin mass shipments of its new AI chip to China as early as next month. That chip, which combines two processors into a single package, would provide an alternative to NVIDIA's H20 chip that now faces restrictions in China from the Trump administration. Joining us right now is an analyst who covers the industry closely. Matthew Bryson is Wedbush Security Semiconductor Analyst. And, and, and Matt, what do you think of this latest news? It, it, we know it's already a big blow for NVIDIA to the tune of $5.5 billion in this next quarter that they're going to take the write off. Is this a market that they're going to be frozen out of? I think that's the concern, um, right? So demand from China was actually picking up. It, it sounded like they potentially were working to enable uh, AI on smartphones, uh, which would have been really interesting. And yes, if you push NVIDIA out of the H20 or the NVIDIA's H20 out of China and Huawei fills the void, then potentially NVIDIA loses that market. What... Uh... What's the alternative scenario? Because this is something that the Biden administration was working on before the Trump administration. It's a bipartisan issue in Washington. No one wants to see this. And industry can push back and say that um, <clears throat> freezing America out isn't going to stop the progress there. But what, what's the alternative situation? I, I, I don't think this comes as a huge surprise, even though the timing may have caught people a little off guard. Yeah, well, I mean, the alternative is is to continue doing what we're doing, where the, the H20 was a, a less performant chip, um, well less performant than what NVIDIA is shipping to the rest of the world. Uh, but it, Chinese companies were still taking it because they, they, they liked NVIDIA software. And so you continue to give NVIDIA a, a foothold. Um, and, and again, with the, with the current administration, uh, you don't know if this is a bargaining chip. So they come back and, and they offer uh, China access to some NVIDIA technology as part of a trade deal or, or whether it's something permanent. So what do you do with the stock in the meantime? I, I, I think with or without China, um, that in, NVIDIA, in part because of their, their dominance with CUDA, um, they will be the dominant supplier of AI in 2025, 2026, 2027. Um, and so I, I think it certainly hurts um, if they can't sell it to China. But at the same time, I also really believe in AI. And I, I think the NVIDIA is going to be the primary beneficiary on the hardware side of uh, eventually AI getting used for, for everything. What do you think about Taiwan Semiconductor? Because last week that company said that, it, you know, no problems here, even with the tariffs, that they are going to be able to continue to, to meet the supply and expectations of the market at this point. Uh, this morning in Taiwan, uh, the entire market was lower. It was led lower by Taiwan Semiconductor and concerns about that. Investors not necessarily buying into that entire picture. Do you? Yeah, so I, I, I think you have the same problem that, that you do with NVIDIA, right? So AI has been driving Taiwan Semi over the last couple of years, or at least has been driving a significant portion of the, the additional growth they've been seeing. And so structurally, we have this question of if uh, we have a more difficult, difficult economy, if spending gets cut back, um, then do, do you see AI suffer? Also, do you see things like, like Apple handsets suffer? And, and that weighs on TSM's near-term Results at the same time, uh, we're seeing AI in particular drive demand for high-end semis, and Taiwan Semi dominates that space. And so, I, I think next year, year after, uh, again, they are going to be the leader, and they will sell lots of advanced chips. And so, could there be a blip in growth? Um, it, certainly, if things get worse from a macro perspective, there could be. But I don't think it changes where where Taiwan Semi is two years, three years from now. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. It really helps the channel grow and lets me keep bringing you more content like this. Thanks for your support. And now, let's get back to the video. The global AI chip war may be entering a new phase. And this time, it's not NVIDIA making the move. A new report suggests that Huawei is preparing to begin mass production of an AI chip powerful enough to rival NVIDIA's H100, one of the most advanced chips used today in training large language models and powering AI infrastructure. Let that sink in. For years, NVIDIA has dominated the AI hardware space, supplying the essential silicon behind everything from chat GPT to autonomous driving. But now, Huawei, long seen as cornered by US sanctions, may be about to fight back with silicon of its own. According to sources cited by Chinese tech media and industry chatter, Huawei's chip is not just ready. 
it's about to ship. And in large volumes, this would mark a huge turning point. A China-based, domestically manufactured AI chip capable of competing with NVIDIA's H100 is more than just a technological feat. It's a geopolitical earthquake. In this video, we'll break down what we know about this mysterious chip, what it could mean for NVIDIA and global AI supply chains, and whether the AI bubble just got a new player or a new threat. The story is still unfolding and the implications are massive. Let's dig in. So, what do we actually know about this chip? According to a report from the Chinese media outlet Late Post and echoed by market watchers and semiconductor insiders, Huawei is preparing to start mass production of a new AI chip in the second quarter of 2025. This chip is reportedly designed to compete directly with NVIDIA's flagship AI GPU, the H100. The chip itself remains unnamed in public documents, but is believed to be a continuation of Huawei's Ascend 910B line, manufactured by China's SMIC using an advanced 7 nanometers process. While the exact specifications are still under wraps, sources claim the chip will deliver computing power comparable to or approaching that of the H100 in certain AI training tasks. Now, here's where things get interesting. The production is said to be happening at scale, with volume shipments expected to Chinese cloud giants like Baidu, Tencent, and Alibaba. The chip will reportedly be used in data centers to train large AI models domestically, effectively bypassing U.S. export bans on NVIDIA's Aoni 100 H100 and even the downgraded H800 chips. This isn't just about a single product. This is about China trying to build an entire domestic ecosystem free from American control, from fabrication to application. The sources remain anonymous, and there's no official confirmation from Huawei yet. But the pattern fits. Over the past year, Huawei has quietly invested in next-gen AI hardware, and China's strategic push for chip independence is no secret. If this report is accurate, we may be witnessing the beginning of China's AI hardware breakout. And the timing? Couldn't be more strategic. So here's the big question. Can Huawei's chip actually compete with NVIDIA's H100? Not just on paper, but in real-world AI applications? Let's break it down. First, in terms of raw hardware, Huawei's chip, assuming it's based on the Ascend 910B, is impressive. Reports suggest it uses SMIC's 7 nanometers process, has competitive FP16 and INT8 performance, and consumes power at similar levels to the H100. That alone is an achievement, considering the technological gap just a few years ago. But AI hardware isn't just about the chip. It's about the ecosystem. NVIDIA doesn't just sell GPUs. It sells the full stack. CUDA, Cudden, TensorRT, proprietary drivers, developer tools, APIs, and decades of optimization across AI frameworks. The H100 isn't powerful just because of silicon. It's powerful because of the software that wraps around it. Huawei, on the other hand, has its own ecosystem. CAN, Compute Architecture for Neural Networks, and MindSpore, its AI framework. These are promising tools, but they're far from universal. Most modern AI infrastructure is built around PyTorch and TensorFlow, heavily optimized for NVIDIA hardware. Porting those models over to a Huawei stack isn't impossible, but it's expensive, slow, and comes with performance trade-offs. Then there's developer adoption. NVIDIA's GPUs are everywhere, in startups, universities, research labs, and cloud providers. Huawei's chips? Mostly confined within China, and even there, adoption is fragmented. So while the Huawei chip might match the H100 in performance benchmarks, true competition depends on more than teraflops. It depends on whether the software, support, and tooling can match up. And right now, NVIDIA's ecosystem remains king. If Huawei can truly deliver an AI chip that rivals the H100 and do it at scale, the implications go far beyond hardware. This isn't just a tech story anymore. It's a geopolitical shift. For the past two years, the U.S. has worked aggressively to cut off China's access to high-end AI chips, citing national security risks. NVIDIA's Aoni 100 H100 and even restricted versions like the H800 were all banned from export to China. The goal? To slow down China's AI development, particularly in defense and surveillance sectors. Huawei's move, if successful, breaks that containment. If Chinese hyperscalers like Baidu, Tencent, and Alibaba can source domestic AI chips for training large models without relying on foreign tech, then the sanctions have officially failed. 
Even worse for the US and NVIDIA, this could inspire a parallel ecosystem. One where China doesn't just build its own chips, but its own entire AI stack, software, tooling, platforms, completely decoupled from Western standards. The result? A fragmented global AI market with two competing infrastructures, one built on NVIDIA, CUDA, and US-aligned supply chains. Another built in China, closed, independent, and increasingly self-sufficient. Economically, this could also hit NVIDIA hard. If Huawei takes just 10, 15% of the Chinese data center AI market, that's billions in lost revenue for NVIDIA, and a signal to investors that its grip on the AI gold rush may not be as unshakable as once thought. Politically, the US may respond with even tighter sanctions, perhaps targeting software, AI models, or cloud access. But every escalation has diminishing returns. One thing's clear, if this report is accurate, the AI chip war just entered its next phase, and Huawei might have just redrawn the map. So what happens next? If Huawei really is preparing mass shipments of a high-performance AI chip, we're entering a critical window, not just for tech, but for the future of the global AI race. Here's what to watch in the coming week. Official confirmation. So far, these are leaks and chatter, but if Huawei publicly acknowledges mass production or announces partnerships with major Chinese cloud providers, the market will react fast. Expect headlines and volatility. NVIDIA's response. Whether it's silence, a vague press statement, or an earnings call loaded with subtext, NVIDIA can't ignore this. Watch for commentary, shifts in guidance, or subtle digs during public appearances, sanctions and countermeasures. Will the US escalate again? If Huawei's chip poses a credible threat, we could see new restrictions, not on hardware, but on software, research, or even cloud-based model access. The AI Cold War is heating up. Investor sentiment. Track NVIDIA's stock. If it dips further, it's a sign that markets are starting to price in the Huawei risk. On the other hand, if it rebounds, investors may be brushing this off as overblown. Benchmarks and leaks. If real-world performance numbers for Huawei's chips start to surface, especially if they come from outside China, they'll either confirm or kill the H100 competitor narrative instantly. In the AI world, seven days is a lifetime. One headline could shift markets, shake alliances, or redefine which companies lead the next decade. We'll be watching. And if you're serious about understanding where the future of AI is headed... If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps the channel grow and keeps the content coming. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.